Hello everyone and welcome. In this session, you will learn about how you and your developer teams can build productively, collaborate from anywhere, scale innovation, and help increase developer velocity in your organization with Microsoft Tools and Cloud. I have some great content and demos to share today, built by my team and some friends at Microsoft. I am Erica Early, Director of Product Marketing for Microsoft Azure, and I focus on end-to-end -end application development. My team and I focus on both technical content for developers and thought leadership for application development. And I am thrilled to talk to you about that today. I am very excited to be here joining .NET 2020 and appreciate the opportunity from playing concepts. So let's get started. Today, every company is a software company. Every part of our life, across all industries from retail to healthcare, to financial services and more, software is at the heart of every company's strategy. Digital transformation is not just an aspirational goal, it is becoming the core of business success. And every company wants to digitally transform. According to a recent study by McKinsey and Company, there are currently over 20 million software engineers worldwide, and over 50% of these developers are working at organizations outside of the tech industry. And today, every company is a software company. Over the last few years, we've worked with many organizations across the globe on their digital transformations. And we have noticed that the most successful ones are those that understand that this process is not one of just adding technology, but one of supporting their people to create the value the organization seeks. And one group of people that is a catalyst for digital transformation are developers. Developers are the builders of our era, creating the ideas and writing the code that enables digital transformation for organizations around the world. They have pioneered innovation that's disrupted countless of industries and figure out how to help businesses weather tough times. This is especially true now, as the world has had to go even more online, and as every organization is having to rethink and rework their business. Developers are more critical than ever before. Over the past few months, we've seen many developers around the world building amazing customer applications and internal back-to-work solutions while working remotely. While things get back to normal, whether your goal is to modernize apps, build cloud-native apps, collaborate and contribute to open source, integrate data and AI to your apps, rapidly build apps with local platforms, or rub a little bit of DevOps, Microsoft is pleased to play a small part in supporting developers around the world, helping you build the apps you need and making remote development possible. And companies that empower developers have higher developer velocity and achieve better business results. McKinsey and company conducted a comprehensive review of what it takes for a company to become a technology company and converge on a single holistic metric. Developer Velocity Index. The report concluded that driving business performance from software development comes down to creating the right environment and removing points of friction for developers to innovate. Organizations that recognize this outpace revenue growth up to five times that of their competitors. They also have 55% higher innovation and perform better on customer satisfaction and brand perception. So what is developer velocity? Developer velocity means driving business performance through software development by empowering developers, creating the right environment for them to innovate and removing points of friction. Developer velocity isn't just about increasing speed of software delivery, but it's also about unleashing developer ingenuity. Turning developer team's ideas into software that supports the needs of your customers and the goals of your business and unleashing the potential and talent of developer teams, the day-to-day -day developer experience, and keeping software talent happy and motivated drives software success. We often hear from software leaders that the set of potential levers to improve performance are so large and diverse that it is often unclear how to prioritize or where to start. 
To lead to a precise understanding of what it takes for a company to increase developer velocity in the same study, McKinsey conducted a comprehensive review of software development practices, including technology, working practices, and organizational enablement. The Developer Velocity Index score takes into account 46 different drivers across 13 capability areas. Developers have always been through catalysts of digital transformation, innovation, and business performance. And this data just validates how crucial it is for companies to invest in their development teams. So how do you calculate the Developer Index score for your organization? We recently launched our Developer Velocity Assessment Tool. You can use this tool to discover where your organization is on the Developer Velocity Maturity Scale and benchmark your Developer Velocity Index relative to your peers. The tool provides personalized reports showing a detailed outline for how your organization can improve over time to meet the growing needs of your developers and software strategy. Your organization can realize developer velocity by enabling developers to build productively, collaborate globally and securely, and scale innovation. In the rest of this presentation, we're going to go deeper into how Microsoft can help your organization increase developer velocity and how you can empower developers in your organization to create great apps and fuel business performance. One of the best ways to improve the skills of your developers is to give them tools they know and love. Our tools meet developers where they are today and expose them to new technologies in the context of the code they're writing. And with our commitment to open source and support for all languages and frameworks in our tools, your developers can build how they want and deploy where they want to. According to McKinsey, the leading driver of business performance is best-in-class tools. Organizations with strong tools are 65% more innovative, and their developer satisfaction and retention rates are 47% higher. Software development is a constantly evolving craft, and developer tools need to reflect the changes in modern development workflows. At Microsoft, we're deeply committed to infuse modern development practices and emerging trends into our tools. With our platform, developers have not just access to the latest technologies, but also a cutting edge tool chain that supports the way they work. Visual Studio is one of the most productive tools out there with new features that are focused on empowering you to do more. IntelliCode uses the power of AI to bring the wisdom of the open source community into your IDE, with suggesting smarter completions, simplifying repetitive tasks like refactoring, and helping you share best practices with the rest of your team. LiveShare gives you real-time collaboration right in your IDE. You can edit, debug, share apps with a teammate anywhere around the world. And with more than 11 million monthly average users, Visual Studio Code continues to be one of the most popular development environments globally, which is reinforced annually in surveys from Stack Overflow, State of JavaScript, Python, Go, and Rust developers. Software development is a team sport. Collaboration with peers and knowledge sharing within the team is fundamental. And the increased pressure to continuously innovate challenges teams to move with more agility to redefine software developer processes, and to break down silos between development teams and operations. The top performing organizations, as measured by McKinsey, show that open source adoption is the biggest differentiator. These organizations are seeing three times more impact from the adoption of open source than the rest of the industry. Organizations that are best in class on open source capabilities score 30% higher on innovation and 20% higher on developer satisfaction. Open source adoption is not just about the use of open source code or technologies. It's about embracing an open source mindset, creating a culture of knowledge sharing and contributing to software development to realize the collective power of a broader development team or community. 
And GitHub is at the heart of the open source community and will always be an open platform that supports all developers. With GitHub, you can bring the collaboration best practices used by over 50 million developers into your organization. GitHub can help you expand your team through empowering collaboration internally with what some call inner sourcing. And with the open source community, you can both retain and attract the best talent and take advantage of the work and talent available in the open source community. And the best part is that all of these can be done securely. GitHub is the only platform that takes an end-to-end -end view of security from open source project to deployed code. We have invested in innovation to help all developers work together to secure code. And GitHub powers planet-scale DevOps for the open source community. We can bring that power to your teams, enabling community power workflow automation, regardless of your tools, preferred languages, or hosting environment. We also continue to innovate in the app space, and one of the things we take pride is on our integrated tooling. The developer experience for Azure brings best-in-class tools, SDKs for every programming language, a platform to support continuous collaboration and delivery, as well as Power Apps and Power BI. As developers and organizations have been adapting to a post-COVID world, they face challenges in shifting to remote work. The most resilient developers can code, collaborate, and ship from anywhere, and they expect their tools to help them achieve that. With Visual Studio, GitHub, and Azure, your developer teams can code, collaborate, and ship from anywhere. We call this our developer cloud, and with it, developers can code from anywhere. With a cloud aware development tools and with cloud power development environments, that make any device a development machine, allowing you to work flexibly from anywhere. You can also collaborate without friction from anywhere with tools that help you work as a distributed team and collaborate with the open source community in the ways that are most natural for you. Finally, you can securely ship from anywhere with services and tools that enable you to monitor how the code is performing and maintain confidence in security despite being remote. It all starts with your development environment, and we all know from talking with you that one of the most common pain points developers have been facing in recent months is setting up a new developer box from wherever you need to work. We recently announced GitHub Code Spaces, which uses the power of the cloud to give you fully configured development environments in seconds. GitHub Code Spaces is seamlessly integrated into GitHub, meaning you can create a code space right from github.com and work in a full featured web based editor. But you can also use Code Spaces from the Visual Studio family of tools as well. In fact, we've now added support in the GitHub Code Space beta for Visual Studio 2019 support. Visual Studio GitHub and Azure combined give you an end-to-end -end developer experience that's with you from your idea to code to cloud. But let's watch the developer cloud in action. Think about a scenario where you don't have a super powerful developer machine. Something like a Surface Go is an awesome machine, but it isn't made to be used as a developer environment. You need to install Visual Studio, .NET 5, and a bunch of libraries and frameworks to run a solution. Plus, in this example, the code base for this application has over 100 projects, so there's no way you can do this on a Surface Go. Let's see how this works. First off, since I am using the power of code space, you don't have to install the full Visual Studio with all the workloads locally. In fact, all you need to install is just a shell with none of the workloads. So think about it. Usually when you are doing all your work locally, you would need to install a ton of workloads, SDKs, and things like that. And all of that can take some time. So this install takes less than three minutes. Now, once you have Visual Studio installed, all you need to do is connect to the code space, 
which is a cloud power development environment that's connected to a repo. When you log in with your GitHub account, Visual Studio displays all of the code space that have been created or running. You can also create new ones from here. In this demo, my friend Abel previously created a code space for this repo, so I will just connect. And from here, the experience is nearly the exact same as if I open the project or solution in Visual Studio locally, except all the code, all the building, all the compiling and debugging happens in the cloud. Visual Studio securely communicates with the remote environments. You just click Run, and the rest of the work is done by Visual Studio. And also Codespaces does all this for you. Now in this demo, you will see we also added a breakpoint. And when you click Run, the app builds super fast and sets a debugging environment. And before you know it, the breakpoint is hit. Everything runs just like it was local, but there's no way this machine could do that with its specs. That's the power of the cloud. And there you have it, from nothing to debugging in six minutes and 37 seconds. I know more than a few enterprise developers that measure this workflow in days. In this demo, we used a previous model of Surface Go, installed Visual Studio, and started debugging an Orchard solution with 90 some projects in minutes. That's awesome. So what really is going on behind the scenes? Visual Studio is super powerful and you can do all kinds of things, right? It really consists of two parts. You got the Visual Studio UI with all the windows, the menus, and editors. And you also have the muscle behind Visual Studio, like the language services, compilers, runtimes, and extensions. That's what powers things like syntax highlighting, IntelliSense, and powerful features like LiveShare and IntelliSense. Now, when you're working with a code space, you can split these two things apart. Locally, you just have the Visual Studio shell. That's what was installed on the Surface Go. It's small, light, and fast to install. And all the muscle portion of Visual Studio, that doesn't actually need to run on your machine. When you're working with code spaces, that runs in the cloud, alongside your code, with dedicated resources, and completely isolated from other projects you're working on. Code spaces work out of the box for most projects, but they're also fully customizable. Pretty awesome. Azure has an end-to-end -end developer experience that helps your developer teams create reliable, global, and secure applications faster. Our tools have integrated collaboration to help you and your team master new skills together. You can use your favorite languages, open source frameworks, and tools that make you feel at home. Azure provides services that enable developers to focus on building applications without having to worry about infrastructure. You can build, test, and deploy from your code to the cloud with Azure tools and GitHub Actions. Let's talk about GitHub Actions. We recently announced a public preview of new GitHub Actions that enable developers to easily create secure and compliant code to cloud workflows that integrate governance, security, compliance, and quality into their software development cycle. The new integrations also help organizations adopt an everything as code DevOps model, where everything, all policies and the build and release pipelines, etc., are written as code, enabling continuous improvement, promoting better reuse, and driving greater transparency. So let's watch GitHub Actions in action. With Visual Studio, you now have the power to right-click and it will create for you a CI-CD pipeline using GitHub Actions. And then, using that pipeline, it will build your application from source control, run your unit tests, and then deploy your app into production. Now, for those that don't know, GitHub Actions is GitHub's workflow engine, where you can automate all sorts of things, including CI-CD. And CICD, CICD is continuous integration and continuous delivery, where every developer check-in is verified by building it, 
and running all its tests and then deploying it. So now, if something is wrong, developers get notified immediately after they check their code in. Like my friend Evo would say, this is so much better than right-click publish. That just takes bits from your developer environment and pushes it to production. If for any reason your code isn't committed and your laptop's hard drive dies, that code is gone and the other developers on the project don't have the production code. If you have libraries installed on your machine, that isn't checked into source control, which means no one else on your project has working code. And how do we make sure you run all your unit tests before you right click and publish, right? Every developer needs a CI CD pipeline. Everyone deserves a real CI CD pipeline using GitHub Actions. Let's talk about a customer that is using GitHub to empower developer teams to collaborate globally and securely. Spotify is a Swedish music streaming provider with over 217 million users around the world. As the music streaming industry is highly competitive, Spotify realizes the importance of providing and improving user experience, continuously offering new features and pushing regular updates without breaking anything. Spotify uses GitHub to fill this need. They rely on GitHub Enterprise to empower their developer teams to collaborate on projects. They use automated workflows to streamline the review process to provide effective and timely feedback to developers. And finally, using GitHub also helps Spotify with developer recruitment. It's easy for them to find people who already know and use GitHub, thus, making it easier for them to join the Spotify community and saves time and costs on education and training. Whether your company is building web, mobile, IoT, or mixed reality experiences, innovation is key to the future success of your organization. Microsoft Azure offers hundreds of services that help your organization drive and scale innovation to achieve your business outcomes and scaling innovation to enhance customer experiences and line of business applications is top of mind for every developer team. McKinsey identified public cloud adoption as a catalyst for developer velocity is especially strong for non-software companies. Public cloud adoption has four times the impact on their business performance than it does for software companies. The immense potential to scale your apps is important as well. Azure is the world's computer and Azure is global. We have also been rapidly building out our Azure regions. We now have 61 Azure data center regions around the world. This allows you to run your apps close to your employees and customers wherever they are, and also helps you meet local data residency requirements. With Azure, Today, you can build and deploy applications with infinite scale. Azure provides a broad range of services that enable you to build rich applications and solutions so you can focus on apps and not infrastructure. Across our infrastructure to databases, to our platform, we have over a thousand new capabilities from AI to Kubernetes, to containers and databases, and more to ensure we're keeping you ahead of the curve. We offer a unique end-to-end -end solution that lets you build rich applications in partnership with non-traditional developers, enabling you to tap into talent from across your organization. Stretch. To pull all of this together, we can easily identify a handful of building blocks that make it real for the application development teams to deliver on the benefits of modern application development. Increasingly, we're seeing customers who value the idea of innovating at the faster pace are using cloud-native architectures with loosely coupled microservices, managed databases, AI, DevOps support, and built-in monitoring to detect failures and problems before they happen. And such apps are typically powered by elastic infrastructure that adjusts to the barring load supports zero downtime rollouts, and provides low latency across uh, data worldwide.
Azure AI provides the best and most productive experience for application developers. You can transform user interface with bots, voice and translation, and further expedite your development by making use of scenario-specific services. You can also automate business logic with personalization, image analysis, and AI-powered search. Hybrid is another differentiator we have in this space. Not only does Azure AI offer the most number of retained models, we are also the only ones that can enable deployment anywhere, on-premises, on the edge, and even other clouds through the use of containers. Last but not least, Azure Machine Learning is the only cloud ML service that enables developers of, a skill, of all skill levels to build machine learning models. From a code-first experience to drag and drop, to automated machine learning where developers are not required to have any machine learning knowledge. Modern integration using out-of-the-box connectors and API management help you become more productive, access data easily, and keep your disparate systems up to date in real time. Connectors are ready-made integrations that make it easier to connect apps with software as a service systems and data anywhere, on premises or in the cloud. Finally, lightweight APIs enable integration with protocols like REST and OAuth. They simplify data retrieval and sharing between services without having to use a heavier message bus. Tap into APIs that already exist in an enterprise and expose them securely through a gateway with hybrid capabilities to access APIs at the edge, on-premises, or in other clouds. Finally, Azure offers a differentiated portfolio of managed databases to serve applications of all types. They're always up to date so customers don't have to worry about infrastructure. We provide strong hybrid compatibility, making it seamless for customers to modernize their data estate with Azure. It makes it easy for customers to gain high availability, limitless scale, and low latency for ultimate app responsiveness. The McKinsey research also reporting that leading companies use low-code and no-code platforms. Companies that utilize this technology score 33% higher on innovation compared with bottom quartile companies. However, we also recognize there aren't enough programmers, data scientists, and tech professionals to realize your innovation goals and build the applications that power digital experiences. In reality, most organizations struggle to find technical talent to build applications and scale innovation. And your organization might not have enough developer capacity to modernize all your existing apps at the same time. Today, developers can create applications using their favorite tools. They can use multiple Azure services to create cloud-native applications and building blocks that empower even more developers in your organization. And with all these services, professional developers can provide a secure, scalable foundation for low-code apps built by employees from all departments. To scale innovation, organizations need to focus first on packaging and shipping their unique business value as composable services. This way, professional developers and employees can participate in shared value generation easily and efficiently and tap into the main experts, those closest to the business problem, and bring them powerful, easy-to-use tools that are low-code or no-code so they can create the apps themselves. And the combination of Azure and Power Apps is incredibly unique. With a combination of Power Apps and Azure, cities and developers can easily build business apps that can be centrally managed through IT and easily extended by developers using Azure Functions or APIs to scale innovation across your organization. And we're making Power Apps even more integrated as part of your application development workflows. Now you can leverage GitHub Actions, API management, as well as virtual agents. 
Many of our customers are using Azure and Power Apps to scale innovation. Let's take a look at how developers can start to piece these together for cloud native solutions. We'll take an application inspired by how we've seen developers starting to put together apps as part of the COVID-19 relief efforts. The mobile experiences are powered by Power Apps, embedded directly within Microsoft Teams. It's calling data and services that are hosted in Azure, providing serverless scale and management. When building these applications, developers in your organization can leverage their favorite development tools. Let's watch this great demo built by Jeff Holland and our engineering teams to show us how to scale innovation with Azure, Power Apps, and Teams. So I'm showing this application now on my mobile device. This is an app for screening at different points of entry around the world. So I could come in and enter the details or the symptoms of a traveler at this point of entry, or if they filled out a form ahead of time, I'll actually select this scan button and I can go ahead and scan a form. After I select to use this photo, it's now scanning this image and automatically filling in each of the fields here. So now when I select submit, all of the text was filled in without me having to do any typing. So let's show how we built this experience. We're gonna start here in the Azure portal and every application needs data. And for us, we're gonna be using Azure Cosmos DB. Cosmos DB is perfect because it auto scales to trillions of events every single second. I can already see some of the data here that we've uploaded to our database. For instance, I can navigate to screenings and see those details here. I'm even using the new Cosmos DB free tier. So I'm storing and retrieving this data at no cost. Now that we have our data here in the cloud, I wanna be able to access it through an API. So if I come back over here to Visual Studio, I can create a brand new ASP.NET app. I'm gonna select the Web API project. Now I need to get this API connected to that Cosmos DB database. And the new connected services experiences is just what I need. I'll go ahead and select to add a dependency here. I'll select to add Cosmos DB. Visual Studio is connected to my Azure account, so I'll select my database. It's pulling in the connection details for me. I have the simple configuration option to choose to either store these details locally in a secrets file or securely encrypt them within Azure Key Vault so they don't even stay on my machine. Now, once I'm connected to Cosmos DB, we can go ahead and start to write some code. You can see here, this is an example of one of our API controllers. This is for screening data. So I can get screenings either by ID or all of them. I'm actually using the .NET Entity Framework with the Cosmos DB SDK, so I have something here like a link statement. Now, I want to be able to test these statements, and I want to try this API, but testing APIs can be cumbersome because I don't always have a UI to drive the experience, so I'm fiddling with CLIs or other tools to try to navigate. But I want to showcase this pretty cool new tool right inside of Visual Studio and .NET called HTTP REPL. What HTTP REPL allows me to do is browse and debug my API the same way I would navigate a folder structure. So I'll start a debug session. It's gonna open up this console window. You'll notice instead of being connected to the C drive, I'm connected to local host. I can now navigate using dir, or if I want, I can type ls. It's gonna return back to me the different endpoints, including our screening data that we were just looking at. Let's navigate to it and even do a get. It's now executing my code and returning that data from Cosmos DB now within my Visual Studio project. So we have some code working. I wanna now deploy this to run in the cloud. And my first step is going to be checking this into GitHub. Let's add a quick commit message here. I'll push this up to GitHub and navigate over to our repo. This is just a regular GitHub repo, but I have a GitHub action that is kicked off and is running now. This is just like the action that Donovan showed you earlier today. For my project, it's taking the .NET API, it's containerizing it inside of Docker, I'm gonna publish that container to Azure's container registry, and finally deploy it to run in the Azure Kubernetes service. Now my code can run across incredibly elastic compute, so I'm confident that this API can scale to whatever demands my mobile application might have. So my app is now running inside of Kubernetes, but I wanna build some experiences around it. 
I need to put it in the hands of my health screening professionals. And rather than having to code this application manually by hand to target all the various devices my team might be using, I'm going to leverage Power Apps to quickly surface this data in an experience. You can see here in the Power App Studio, I can visually create this mobile application in just a few hours. I have access to over 300 connectors out of the box, or I can use our own API, this screening API now running in Kubernetes. Let's go ahead and add some information to this screen. I'll come in and insert a vertical gallery. I can even go ahead and choose the data source. Let's choose that screening data that we've been looking at so far. I can move the table down, go ahead and resize it. I can customize the look and feel by choosing the layout. I like this title layout right here, so we'll go ahead and select that. I even have the option to choose different fields to surface. Because I published this API through Azure, it knows, hey, I have things like contact number and visitor name from this API. So we'll go ahead and select it to show the visitor name and contact number. So we've customized our form to show exactly how we want. Now, this is a full mobile app. It could run across Windows, Android, any device. You can see here, I have a number of screens here, including our main screen and that screening data form. And I want to show you how we hooked this form up to those AI capabilities that let me scan a picture. I did that by navigating here, still in the Power Apps experience, to enhance my app with AI. I have a number of capabilities at my disposal, like object detection. I want to go ahead and choose form processing. We'll give our model a name. It's going to let us upload a few sample images. And after I upload a few samples, it's going to create and train a machine learning model for me. Without having to write any code, I can now come back over here to Power Apps and tell it, hey, if someone clicks the scan button, go ahead, call that form's processing model. I can now map this to those different fields and do all the typing for me. So our app looks pretty good now, and I just need to publish it to get in the hands of our users. And our team, just like the 75 million others out there, has been using Microsoft Teams heavily during the COVID-19 crisis. And with new capabilities, I can now go ahead and choose to take any Power App and instantly add it to my team. By clicking this button, now my application has been deployed to whatever teams, whatever channels, or my entire organization. So now everyone using this Teams app has access to it, instantly deployed. So let's open up my phone again. I can select to see the apps I have here, and there's that COVID screening app integrated in the Teams experience, in this case, on my mobile device. I can go ahead and open it up, and I could start to conduct those screenings. So you can see by using cloud native tech, I was able to build this application very efficiently, both in terms of cost and in effort. By leveraging cloud native technologies in Azure, developers in your organization are able to build applications efficiently, both in terms of cost and effort. Power Apps provides a productive environment for even non-traditional developers to add these experiences on top of these apps. And by embedding into Teams, I'm able to make these capabilities instantly available to everyone in my organization with a single click. Let's talk about a real customer example. Swedish Health Services is one of the largest nonprofit health providers in Washington state, and they built an emergency response solution using Azure, Power BI, and Power Apps. This solution allows them to track and manage real-time insights of bed and staff capacity, COVID patient statistics, discharge pipeline, and even see supplies on hand like masks and gloves and the burn rate of critical supplies. The source code for this solution has been published as open source on GitHub and has been adopted by healthcare providers across the world. Modern development is about building applications differently and running them differently. Development teams today are more geographically distributed than ever and remote software development is the new reality for many organizations. Microsoft is unique in the industry and provides the organization with the world's most comprehensive developer toolkit with Visual Studio, GitHub, Azure, and Power Apps. Microsoft is working closely with thousands of organizations around the world to help them use the Microsoft Cloud to address today's challenges. And one of the things that makes the Microsoft Cloud unique is how comprehensive it is. 
With Azure, we provide a cloud platform that enables you to develop custom applications and leverage cloud infrastructure. And you can take advantage of your SaaS solutions like Microsoft 365, LinkedIn, Dynamics 365, and the Power Platform to connect your employees and business processes to your custom applications. We have some great resources we recently announced to help your organization increase developer velocity. You can learn more about developer velocity at azure.com. We really look forward to help your organization increase developer velocity, and we thank you so much for your time.